I will do it. Now you may like me and you may not. But this I will accomplish. As an employee, a former employee, we were always in a devil. That's when that man was still. Or under a and then we have the emergency fund. Emergency fund. We don't need him. That we are being held accountable. Mm -hmm. That's why we got to get more people to run. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got to take care of that rat. Take care of that rat. I it's your job. It's your job. I don't want to go to war for this. Take a look around you. Everyone who is connected to somebody else. Dr. King once said that an injustice against one is an injustice against all. All right. All right. So, You will 
losers. We can't afford to lose anything else. What do we have? Hold on to it. Hold on. Hold on to it. I'm just saying. I'm just I don't care what it takes. Don't expect to fight your own fucking ass if you to fight. All right. We love you, Don. Yes. All right. All right. Where is the proof? All right. So He's at what? Yeah, here you go. Thank you. 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 Oh, oh, goodness. Goodness. I I just don't think so. I don't 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 I do I don't Unfortunately, that's that's unacceptable because here's the thing. There is something that you put in print that you have proof of and you have no information here in regards to that. Where is your proof? Here we it don't matter. But you, you signed it. You come to the board meeting on December 12th. You signed it to voice your concern. So I have a concern. Can I? I can explain my homestead. Okay, please do. Say okay. And 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 and, 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 and Treasurer Phillips says you can explain my taxes that they are paid. Let me explain my homestead. Since Miss Ballard has a problem, and I'm going to tell you everything in here, I felt could have been done differently. <coughs> if she had real concerns, you contact as a board of trustee member. She should have contacted the attorney, and the attorney would That's have advised her possible right. instead of raping me through public opinion. Right. Okay, but That's let me explain my homestead. I'm sorry. That's how my home's dead. That was a bad choice. Yes. That was a bad word. I yes. thought no. she did she take me through public opinion. To be quiet. My yeah. home's yeah. dead. Yeah. I was paying Here 50 yourself. for because it's all one address. 21241 Westview. It is a business commercial property. But I was paying 50% home's dead and 50% non-home's dead because it's commercial. So in 2018, I'm like, something is wrong. I'm just paying too much. So I called Oakland County Equalization and asked them, could you please come back out and reassess my property? Did I not? Which is legal. I, of course it's legal. They came out. I didn't even know when they came out. I did not know when they came out. I didn't see them or anything. They came out. They reassessed it. Then I got it back. They said, uh, Miss Squall, they said, you are 75% homestead. That means my house is 75% and the store is 25%. Because my house, including the upstairs, the main room, and the basement, is bigger than the store. And then they explained this to me, which was to my surprise. From the front door to that back wall, that's all they could count as commercial, as business. Because I thought they counted the back storage room. They said no storage room, a shed, or anything can be counted right. as property. That right. is storage and shed. So they did not even include that. That is why my store is 25%. 
Now, there's another piece to this little puzzle that maybe Miss Ballard got confused with, but she could have came to me and asked yeah. me. Yeah. Let me tell yeah, you, there is been. another, excuse me, there, yeah, you haven't been to me in over a year, but <laughs> there is another, there, there is another yeah. parcel. We have two parcels to roll up township. We have the commercial parcel, and then, and then you have the personal property tax parcel. Every business has a personal property tax. Now, is that am I correct? Yes. Okay. So you, every business has two parcels. One is your regular property tax. What is your personal property tax? About four or five years ago, the state of Michigan started where you can be exempt from personal property tax. We have a form that comes in the mail. You can sign the back of it. You fill it out. And you have it back in it's between by February 1st or February 15th. I can't remember the exact date. And then you are exempt. But that personal property, if you look on it, and it says Squaw's Grocery, and you look on it, it says 100%. It, it says property 100% homestead. Homestead. That's because it's property. But it, and you look at it, it says zero value. Because every year, I want to make sure that I'm exempt and I don't have to pay that personal property tax no more. So it says 100% homestead. So maybe Ms. Ballard was looking at, or whoever did the research, was looking at my personal property tax and thought it was the original property tax. Because every business has two of them. I don't know, did y'all understand what I was saying? Yeah. Yes. So maybe that's where the confusion came in at. But uh, two years ago, I am 75% homestead with the property tax. 25 is for the store. But it is all still, I don't pay a regular property tax. I pay still pay commercial. The other one is the personal property tax. And because I filed on time and did it into Oakland County Equalization, it is still zero, but it says 100% homestead. All right, all right. You said they were here. She's paid up until this year. To this year, and she had to February the 14th, she paid her winter tax. All right, all right. All right. me too. Me too. No, I have the, excuse me. No, no, no. That's not true. I have the other lady. See, y'all got one. <laughs> I got two. I got another one that went to the Internal Revenue Service Department of Treasury. Talked about my, I said I received a kickback, an unfiled tax return, un un unreported business income, tax fraud, failure to pay taxes, failure to what? comply with all other IRS codes. This was the first one I got. That thing y'all got was the second one. And you gonna tell me I'm not being personally attacked? Sue, 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 what she got my jacket? Right over there. Use the mic. You're right on green If they know Miss Ruth, that's my godmother. I was born in her house in Parkside, over there. I've gone from her house to the projects, to the co-op. I've left. i come back. I've been off the Pontiac trying to purchase the house out here twice in the township to come back. To me, this is one of the safest places. Yes, that's right. I don't care what nobody says. You got the million dollar homes up in Bloomfield Hills. Guess what? I feel safer out here than I do in Bloomfield Hills. I have kids in my house with my door standing open and never been bothered by anyone. Nine times out of 10, you know the face. Mm -hmm. I know Donald, we go back because my uncle used to work for her father when he had his construction company when I was a kid. So we have history. 
and for Miss Ballard, who I've oh, seen at the store, quite a few times, they've got the books in this way. Over at the store, for them to actually pull a paper out like this, I'm offended and insulted, and I'm, I'm hurt for Donna. And I'm always talking to them. Even though I stay in the city of Detroit, here's the thing. I was willing to sell my house I stay in now, which is paid for, to come back out here now. Now, I talked to Donna about it earlier this year. I'm trying to find the house out here. I'm not just going to pay for anything. But for her to have done that, I'm, I'm her side. Yeah. I am her vice. I'll always be a resident in a warm township wherever I am. Wherever I am. Like I said, I'm one on Park side over there. And I've seen her, I've seen Jolly. I've actually talked to both of them from time to time in the store. And I could not believe the pamphlet that she put out. And I do know. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
You ain't gonna do nothing. Look at our board members. How can a board member get up and walk out like that? Yeah. When they put these people right. in office. Right. 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 Nobody right. say nothing. Two right. years ago. Nobody no. 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 recall. Every year, they be called. It's a shame. Me and Mr. Johnson had a very heated conversation. And I told him, this is not the position for you. You cannot handle the criticism. Then, buddy, you need to go find you another job. Yeah. Right. Because he was talking about them, and I said, I bet you in your turn that we won't have a police department. See, you don't understand the underlines of getting a police department, getting, getting a chief, and all that stuff. But it takes a lot more than what's going on right now. Yeah. Yeah. And then today, we still don't have it. But that's not that's not for a reason for us to cave in. All right. We're gonna keep moving forward. Now I think you're doing an awesome job. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know all of it, all of it in there. But the board is even speaking about it. Mr. Jolly should be ashamed of himself. He really he 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 get up and walk out of here. Yeah. All right. Because he he knew 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 he Okay. 